What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know we're on the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. And this is, I believe, the last Monday night football game of the year. There's no more Thursday night football. Next weekend is the end of the regular season, and all we have left are playoffs. We are still doing our tailgate with a game that means something at 425 Eastern. The Dallas Cowboys going against the Commanders. Commanders. And um, we're going to see what we're going to see. We're going to see what we're going to see. Uh, the Cowboys have a chance still. Believe it or not, it's crazy that the Eagles have literally. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> choking on something there. Um my my friend, the Eagle fan, just got up when I just said choke. But literally having a three-game lead that literally could lose this. I mean, that's as bad as Tampa Bay being, excuse me, the Miami Dolphins being eight and three and now eight and eight, basically. Five games losing in a row, but still in a playoff position. That's crazy. But be that as it may, oh, I just lost, there we go. Lost my camera there for a second. But be that as it may, it must be the Eagles fans' whack, whack Wi-Fi. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. I, I drove all the way up to Delaware. I'm doing some work and things. I've been curious what Shady, Shady McCoy was going to say. And I, I, I have not seen it. I have not seen it speak. Just put this out an hour ago. I'm set up for my live stream starting in uh, about 45 minutes. But I want to hear what Shady McCoy has to say. If he's going to say that, can, can, can I say it on TV? Ass, ass. That's what my Eagles were looking like. Or are they going to see you going to say MVP, MVP. Okay. You, you know what? When he said MVP, you know what it reminded me of? This is a throwback. New Jack City. CMB. CMB. Yeah. Right. Nino Brown then killed him. But be that as it may. Let's go to speak and listen to what they have to say. I'm not a player anymore. So I am going to hit that panic button. Shady McCoy, Eagles fans, Joy Dave, I believe it's time for the Eagles to panic for this reason. I'm more concerned about the Eagles than I am concerned about the lack of Jalen Hurts. The Eagles with the backup quarterback should be able to beat the New Orleans Saints. Why? Because the Saints were starting a backup quarterback. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Andy Dalton's not a starting quarterback in the National Football League. 9-19 and as a starter the last three seasons going into this year. Andy Dalton, the same Andy Dalton that got benched for rookie Justin Fields, that Andy Dalton. I'm not as concerned about the absence of Jalen Hurts as I am concerned about the lack of cognition with the Eagles defense. Andy Dalton went six for eight on third down, y'all. Andy Dalton was picking the Eagles apart. 15 plays, 75-yard touchdown drive to start the game. The whole game, the Eagles were chasing points because that defense allowed Andy Dalton to march down the field and Taysom Hill ran <coughs> the same play three consecutive times to get into the end zone on the Eagles' defense. I'm panicked because even if Jalen Hurts were to come back, opposing quarterbacks were 45 and 57 in the last two games against the Eagles' defense. 45 and 57, roughly an 80% completion percentage. League average is 70%. Jalen Hurts don't back. Who was one of those quarterbacks? Who was one of, who, who was one of those quarterbacks? Was that Dak Prescott? He said opposing quarterbacks. Wasn't one of those Dak Prescott? I'm just checking. Okay. Pedal. He don't T-step. He don't break on the ball. He plays quarterback. So even though Jalen Hurts will come bring relief, I'm still panicked for the Eagles because that defense is not the same defense we were led to believe. Because Andy Dalton shouldn't have been throwing strikes like he did 2-5, but are you panicking? Katie? I'm not panicking at all. Nah, not at all. It's one game we lost, right? Now, you'll say it's two games in a row, but... Each week, it's true. Yeah, each week is one game. So I'll, I'll say this. First of all, <laughs> the biggest issue is Jalen Hurts. He's not playing. And before I get on Jalen Hurts, let me address you because you Please do you know the defense and all that. The defense let up 13 points. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you want to slice 13, it. Too many. Slice it, dice it. Whatever you want to do, 13 points. You should be able to win that I mean, game. Saints let up. So let's talk about my my Eagles, right? My Eagles. We need Jalen Hurts. Without Jalen Hurts, I mean, we we can't run the ball. We're averaging 75 yards. Rushing. Mm -hmm. You can't start any offense, any passing attack if you can't run the ball. Points. I mean, we, we, we can't even put no points up. We average 30 points with Jalen Hurts when he's there, right? So 13 points, we the 
20 would have, would have made that happen. He doesn't turn the ball over. Even more with our team. We put up 10 points. It's a season low. It's getting worse. It's getting bad and bad and bad. It's the worst it's ever been. 20, 67 yards, lowest the season. Six sacks, the worst the season. So, yeah, a lot of that is we don't have Jalen Hurts. I'm, happy, I'm not happy it happened, but there's always, like, in losses, there's always lessons. And the lessons be taught to everybody else other than me. Everybody talks about how, oh, with that type of team, who needs, who needs Jalen Hurts? Any quarterback can do it. The Cowboys players were saying it. A lot of analysts was talking about it. And we really see now that the, the big reason why we're not winning these games is because our MVP is not there. Jalen so Hurts. are you worried because he's missed two games in a row oh, and he, he has an injury to the throwing shoulder? My sort, my, look, look, I, 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 I always wanted to say this on TV. Uh-oh. LaShawn McCoy's closest sources says that Jalen Hurts will be back soon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. From somebody who played in the Eagles for six years, that just doesn't mean as much, Shady. Your sources are your friends. Anyway. Dave friends Hel- in the right places. <laughs> Dave, right. Dave Hellman, where do you stand? Time for the Eagles to panic? I would hope the Eagles are made of sterner stuff than to panic. I mean, they're 13-3. and three. They're still the number one seed. All they have to do is beat a Giants team that doesn't have a whole lot to play for, That's and they will team. have the bye week. So I would hope that they're not panicking. It does, <coughs> it does make me think of conversations we had back in October and November about – Ain't Are the Eagles battle-tested? Are the Eagles going through enough adversity? Because this is adversity right here. Like, you go from kings of the world, riding mm-hmm. high, can anybody get in the Eagles' way? Mm-hmm. And you can't even beat the New Orleans Saints. And I know, I know Jalen Hurts isn't playing, but come on, they should have been able to win that game with, with Gardner Minshew. From what we saw from Gardner yeah. Minshew against the Cowboys, they're a good enough team. I still don't think they should panic, though. Again, I said it last week. They are catching bad luck at the wrong time. Like, you're going to lose guys. You're going to go through adversity. But to lose your starting quarterback, to lose Lane Johnson, they lose Josh Sweat in that game. I think that probably contributed to their defensive performance at least a little bit. They're catching this stuff at the wrong time. But they don't need to panic. They need to go beat a Giants team that's probably going to be resting players. Like, the Giants are locked into the sixth seed. There's there's no incentive for the Giants to play unless they just really think it would be funny for the Cowboys to win the NFC East, which it would be really funny for whatever that's worth. But no, go beat a Giants team that doesn't have a lot to play for, and you get a week off, you finish the season 14-3, and and you will probably have a lot of those guys back when the playoffs start. So no, I don't think they should panic. No, there's no reason to panic. <laughs> Again, I don't know what everyone else is watching. Maybe my television's broke. I'm getting a different feed from another mm-hmm. planet. I'm in the upside down or something because I'm pretty sure Gardner Minshew played both those games that they lost. Yeah. Right? Okay. So he didn't play well in the Cowboys game. I know everyone keeps saying this, but he turned the ball over three times. He did. I don't know why that's a good game. I don't know. Again, I'm in the upside down, and the upside down three turnovers is a good game. I don't care about yards. I don't care about any of that. He gave the Cowboys defense, or the Cowboys defense forced him, however you want to say it, mm-hmm. the ball was turned over three times. Not a good game. This last game is an even better example of why everything that happens with Philadelphia goes through Jalen Hurts. If you were saying anything different, it's mm-hmm. fine. We're wrong about some things in life. I'm wrong like once a year. It's, it's okay. And when I'm wrong, once I say it. So just have some seats. Jalen Hurts is clearly the most valuable player on this team. And guess what else? Lane Johnson, pretty important too. Yeah. So what are we evaluating here? Mm-hmm. They are a hurt team. They're mm-hmm. not going at full speed. If they mm-hmm. lost like that with everyone on the field, I'd be very concerned and very panicked that they're playing like that at this point in the season. But the guy is not there. Jalen Hurts is not out there. If we're going to move on to the conversation about how concerned are we back that he's going to be back on time and healthy, that's a different conversation. But about the Eagles in general, no. The same. Okay. Well, here's the thing. Josh Sweat was carried off on a stretcher. He did fortunately go home. He had movement in his astronomy and scripts and his arm is legs. Damn, damn it. Arms and legs. Um, I don't know when it means he's going to be ready to play. Lane Johnson has a torn abdominal muscle that he's going to wait to have surgery on. Um, I don't think that's going to heal. And the way it looked when he went down, it's not great. And your quarterback fell with a 300-plus pound person driving him into the turf on his shoulder, his throwing shoulder. The thing about football is football gives no Fs about who's hurt. This whole thing about, oh, well, they didn't have to start the quarterback. Well, we had five games without our starting quarterback, the Cooper Rush. We adjusted 
to what Cooper Rush did and found a way to win four of the five games. We lost our left tackle, Tyron Smith, all pro, just until two weeks ago. We lost a running back. Zeke Elliott was injured. Last week, Tony Pollard was injured. We didn't get a wide receiver, Michael Gallup, back till week four, and he's still not right. So it's kind of funny because last Thursday, after the Cowboys won by 14 points, they were saying it's time to panic for the Cowboys after beating the Eagles on Sunday. And now it's like, oh, it's no panic. Are you kidding me? All right, come on now. Come on now. We had Shady McCoy saying, Dak Prescott is ass ass. That's right. I said it. Well, the Eagles yesterday going against Andy Dalton were ass ass. But hey, Cowboys are just held to a different standard. All right, good people. I'll see you on the live stream here in uh, about half hour, 45 minutes or so. Peace.